I actually just started learning Thai boxing back in January of this year. Growing up, when I was a child, my parents put me in Kung Fu and I just loved it. I felt like it helped me develop as a person. Motion capture analysis really can help us as athletes or even to train ourselves, coming down to being mindful of what moves first. And really, the goal of that will make you a more efficient fighter or make you a more effective fighter where you're not generating as much power that's wasted. And so I think it really just makes your movements a lot more optimal. The kick, or we call it teep, there's a lead teep and a rear teep. So of course a lead teep being in the front and a rear teep coming from the back. So anytime we throw a teep, basically, what you want to do is keep your center of gravity over your stance leg. Everything kind of moves about that center of mass. And you shouldn't really see a whole lot of movement in that center of mass. But when you throw that knee, same thing, you're stabilizing your stance leg joint and then you throw, so everything kind of generates a power from that stability limb and then you throw with that knee which basically should be nice and relaxed. When you throw a jab, you're coming from the elbow and you're throwing it out, right? So everything stays nice and relaxed in the hands, all your energy comes from that center of mass. Same with that cross. Your body goes first, hopefully that's what you see. You see a nice twist in the body and then you throw that cross and the same thing with that jab. So everything kind of follows that same philosophy of moving over a stable base.